It's not too bad. Fuck's sake, I want to shoot the barrel. There you go. Don't know if that actually set me on fire or not. I think it may have. Yeah, I don't really... I don't know if I like the, the lightning rods. They're good weapons. When you actually, like, just hit an enemy with them, but... Their special attack is not so great. Oh Christ. More chizzards. There's just shitloads of chizzards. There we go. Ding! Ooh! Hey, I got some new ones. Shoulders of epicness. And I also got a new chest piece. Alright. I think I've made back the money I got from buying all the burgers in the Sundays. That only does 862. Wow. I've definitely got all the money back from the Sundays. Is this a guy? Yep. Seems like it would be. Shit. Yay! Frozen Blade Runestone. Did he have Blinky? No, he didn't. I thought he would have had Blinky. Shows how much I know. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. I've just remembered how this camp is laid out. It isn't laid out normally. It goes all the way round. So Blinky is probably all the way at the end of this bloody place. What a pain in the ass. There we go. Boom. Oh, hang on. There's just so much shit you can blow up. I got set on fire. I technically set myself on fire. I ran into the bloody thing. Woo! Ah, crap. You interrupted me eating a fucking pizza. You inconsiderate asshole. You do not interrupt somebody when they're tucking into a pizza. That's just like the most rude thing you could possibly do. It literally is. It's the most rude thing you could ever do to a person. Interrupt them while they're tucking into a pizza. How dare. Okay, there's a bunch of blinkers. Fuck, do I have to kill all of them? Baby blinker. I guess so. Well, we'll get one of them. Oh. And just kill the chickens, because why not? Jesus burger! Blinky's t oh, he died. Shit! That guy is even more without a friend now. We made him friendless. What a nice guy we are. Wow, that was a- that's a terrible helmet. What the fuck? <laughs> oh dear. So Blinky was a blinker. Do they all have that like teleportation ability or is it something that gets like unlocked, so to speak? Maybe they do like some sort of experimentation on them and that's where they become, well, that's when they're able to do the teleporting stuff. Yo, you are without a friend. Oh, man off the I have good news and bad news about Blinky, uh, but mostly bad news. Unfortunately, uh, Blinky tried to bite me, and then this thing <laughs> happened with my sword and- Yeah, okay. Uh, now isn't the time for blame. It's a time to come together and remember Blinky and the joy he brought us all. Uh, here are his tags. <laughs> oh? Oh! Oh, okay. Hey, another tin can. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm. Wow. They are one hell of a tough enemy. Jesus. We're in like a desert now. I mean, I don't want to be here, but I kind of do. Oh, God. 
No, the reason I don't want to be here is because I want to get on with other stuff. Like, uh, going to the farm. But never mind. I don't think this actually leads to anything anyway, so... It's not really like I'm wasting time here. Oh, fuck's sake. I have to kill them all first. Uh, the only reason I came here anyway was because I thought maybe there's a tin can. I know I said I don't really care about them, but I am going out my way to try and find the bloody things. Hey! Whoa! That looks fucking cool! That helmet looks really cool! Oh yeah! Look at that thing! This blade might look ornamental, but it's really very dangerous. You don't say! Okay. There we go. Woo! I think we're done here then. I like this helmet though. <laughs> it looks pretty badass. I thought I'd opened this. I guess not. Sweet! We are very close to two million dollars. That's a lot of money. Yeah, and I, can, I know where the other Gream is. It's all the way over to the right. In that Gream camp. Hello, you are the farmer, right? Orphan Timmy. Hey, hands off my orphan. <laughs> okay. What the hell's this? I have no idea. So I can't take the orphan. Huh. Greetings, woman I don't know. The name's Anna. Oh god. Anna Applehole. What the heck do you want? Uh Okay. I have a package for I'm a Applehole. Thanks. I was wondering when that thing was finally gonna show up. There we go. Give Sandy a hug and a kiss for me when you see her, alright? <laughs> Not gonna happen. <laughs> okay. Um. Your lemon Fuck, I didn't want to even choose that one, but whatever. Madam. Don't look at me, it's my husband's. I want nothing to do with it. Your husband grows a fine crop indeed. Well, he better. He loves these damn things more than me. Surely that can't be the case. He once missed my birthday because he was reading bedtime stories to the trees. <laughs> but you still love your husband, right? I do, I guess. But his obsession has gotten out of control. Every year he comes in second place at the fruit growing contest at the fair. He's obsessed with beating Farmer Bobblewood. Oh. Well, that's all he cares about. Oops. Uh. Yeah, that one. Have you tried supporting him in his goals? I have tried everything, I tell you. Everything. Finally, I says to him, it's either me or Farmer Bobblewood. And he picked Bobblewood? Yes. What kind of world do we live in where an ultimatum like that backfires? <laughs> uh. I must. Yeah, I'll just do that. I need to talk to him now. Hello, Grapes of Wrath Farmer. Well, howdy, neighbor. Name's Strunken McClure. I've got a package for you. I have a courier package for you. Yay! Sweet! My order of chisered manure is here. Okay. Uh. <laughs> you aware that your odor is particularly unpleasant? I see you have an orphan. He's mine. I found him fair and square. Why, he's the only friend I don't have left. Ever since the missus decided she ain't want nothing to do with me. Uh. You seem like a good guy. Why would your wife leave you? I'm a... Oh, she's nuttier than a peanut farm. She'll holler at me over the darndest things. 
Like this one time, all I did was leave the toilet seat up, and she just went all hysterical like and hit me with a shovel. <laughs> um. Right. Okay. Are you aware that your odor is particularly unpleasant? It's probably my amazing miracle manure that you're smelling. Oh, the miracle is that I'm still standing. <laughs> it may smell something awful, but it sure done grown some amazing produce. Produce. It's <laughs> when you're in your hair. Ugh. What did you do to anger Ima again? All I did was leave and she. Oh, okay. Do I have to like keep going back and forth with these two? Shit. Great. Uh. So this contest is the source of your marital friction. Yes. Every year it's the same old story. When you care more about manure than you do your wife, there's a problem. Mm. Well, it really depends on the manure, I think. Um, that's a very strange looking pet you have. Haven't you ever seen a dog before? Not from the outside. <laughs> He's so well behaved and dependable. Okay. And he doesn't mess on the carpet either. I'll bet. Completely unlike that rat husband of mine. Have you noticed your dog is glowing? He's sort of radiant, isn't he? It's not fleas. Have you seen him playing near any leaky atomic bombs or used fallout shelters? Not personally, but who knows what he got up to before he fell from the sky? What? Your dog fell out of the sky? Sure did. I guess you could say it was <laughs> raining cats and dogs. <laughs> <gasps> cats fell too. Surely this is a sign of the apocalypse. Nope, just the one dog. I was trying to be funny. Oh. I find your sense of humor to be most disturbing, madam. <laughs> um. I just saw your husband. He seems like a swell guy. Strunken? I should say not. He's an oversensitive, overbearing jerk. This one time, all I did was eat a few cookies in bed. And he just exploded in a hissy fit of rage. Oh. Hang on. So it says... Um... So she, he says something about her hitting him with a shovel. Hey, I can't talk to the orphan. Hello. Uh... I talked to your wife. What's her face? Oh, wait. Oh, should I say she's sorry? Hmm. She said he took a hissy fit of rage. She says she's sorry. Aha! For molesting the milkman. What? For eating cookies in bed. Is that so? Well, it's a start. But she ain't done apologizing. Not until she also apologizes for... Oh, what's the use? Our marriage can't be saved. Uh... See you around. Hang on. So I've done that part. What about if I talk to her? I talked to your husband. What's his face? He says he's sorry. He says he's sorry. For leaving the toilet seat up. For leaving the toilet seat up. Well, that's real sweet of him. Might I suggest a reconciliation? Not until he also apologizes for that time that he... Ah, it's hopeless. He'll never do it. Uh, okay. Did you do anything else to tick off Strunken by any chance? <laughs> Nothing, really. I washed the autographs off his favorite sports jersey once. Why would anyone 